Okay, let's try this general reduction problem. And we've got, here we've got the question here. Consider this x minus 360, 90 cosine of 90 plus x. There's x's in all these places. The trick with this equation, uh, there's both, we're going to show that it equals sine x, is you have to know where x minus 360 is. Well, there's an angle x, it means it's in the first quadrant. We think of x as being in just an acute angle, like 45 degrees or something. And if you have x, and then you go minus 360, you're back in the first quadrant. So that's where alpha minus 360 is. Where is 90 plus x? Well, 90 means it's going to be co-function, but where is it? It's right there. 90 degrees plus x means you bend this way into the second quadrant. 90 minus x, well, there's 90. Minus means bent this way. It must be first quadrant as well. And minus x is just bending down. Minus an angle bending down, it's minus x. If you know where these things are, it makes everything so easy. Now, the reference angle is so easy, it's just x. So it's the sine of x, and it must be positive, so it's just sine x. This cos of 90 plus well, that's negative there. Cos is negative there, but cos turns into sine because it's co-function minus sine x. The sine of 90 minus x is the cos of x, but it's first quadrant, it's positive. Then the tangent of minus x, tangent in the fourth quadrant is negative, so it's minus 10x. There's your first thing. Now, the tan of x is really sine over cos. Now, look, these coses will cancel, and these sines will cancel. Like that, it just equals 1. The negative divided by a negative is equal to 1. And what are we left with? What we needed. Sine x. That's what we wanted. Okay, then they say, hence, without using a calculator, between minus 180 and 180 degrees, figure out what all this scary junk is equal to sine x. Well, all of this, I can just make it sine x equals a half. And because all of this stuff, we just showed it's equal to sine x. And when does sine x equal a half? Well, we need to have a special angle here. When sine is 60 degrees, or when sine is 120 degrees, plus k times 360, we can, hey, but if we take away or add, we're going to go outside of this region. So it looks like your two answers are just 60 degrees and 120 degrees. That's the solution in this region here, from minus 180 to 180. Those are the only two answers that look like they're going to work. And there you go.